welcome back. I'm going to change that saying, I hate it. Anyway, we're going to do these cute cupcakes today, so let's jump in it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't already. Thank you. So we're using this sweet, st sweet stamp set. It's the cookie set. Um, they're quite small and they're really, really handy for this. I needed a letter B for this one. So we're making the little discs that go on the top that you'll have seen in the picture at the beginning. Okay, and all we're gonna do is roll our sugar paste out. It's got a little bit of Tylo powder mixed into it as well, or you can use modeling paste if you prefer. Um, I'm rolling it fairly thick. I'd probably say it's about half a centimeter thick. Um, I'm sorry for my American friends. I don't know what that is in inches. Um, and then we're using a cutter just to cut round it, leaving a nice gap, not too much, but again, not too little. It's a two and a half centimeter cutter, if that helps. And then we are painting in the letter with some gold luster. I always make my luster using, um, a, sorry, my paint using a luster dust and rejuvenator fluid. If you can't get that or you prefer to use an actual paint, that's absolutely fine. I like to have control over how thick my paint is. I'm using it quite thin here so that it spreads really easily into the gaps because these can be tr quite tricky to paint because they are very small letters. This is a zero brush, so it is really, really small. Okay, I will link the dusts and the rejuvenator and all of that for you down below so that if you want to have a go with those, you absolutely can. But if you're more comfortable using paint or if you already have some at home, then please use that as well. And you can obviously do them any which color you would like. So I've baked some nice cupcakes here and we're gonna go ahead and ice them. So we're using tip 2D and this is the color blush from Color Mill. The marks on the cupcakes are because I did them the wrong color the first time because I'm an idiot. And they are a red velvet cake as well. So we're just sort of piping them onto an angle we're not doing them completely flat because we want them to lay on top of one another for those swirls. Okay, and then obviously we're leaving, we're doing it up on about half of them. And then this one is tip 6B, I love this tip. And the colour colour again is colour mill and it's lavender. They're up the top there for you as well so that you can pause and do it and follow along at home. Okay, and so we're just piping those on. It doesn't have to all be identical. We want them to have a little bit of individuality between each cupcake as well. I don't want it to all be exactly the same. And now we're moving on to tip 199. That's a Wilton tip and the colour is Colour Mill Rose. I do mostly use Colour Mill in my work now. It is my favourite um, brand. They do colour really well and because I do a lot of chocolate work, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know I do a lot of colour in chocolate, so it's just handy to have ones that do both. Okay, so this sprinkle mix, I kind of made myself. Um, I'll link the mixes that I used for you. One of them is a Valentine's mix, bizarrely, and I picked out the Love Hearts. And then there's um, a sugar crystal in there. There's teeny tiny one millimetre gold balls. Just kind of made it myself, but honestly, guys, I'm absolutely in love with this mix. I mean, I mean, maybe I should be a sprinkle master. Who knows? but it is honestly one of my favourite mixers to use at the minute and I use it on a lot and I get a lot of orders like this one that I'm doing currently. It's a really, really popular theme and um, colourway to use at the minute. So now we're doing the ones that we made the discs for and this tip is a Gem Tip 3J and again, we are using our made-up colour, made-up sprinkle mix made up colours. Um, the colour was rose from Colour Mill again. Okay, and we're using quite a bit there. It was the same colour I used for the ones where we did the multi-tip pipe. Okay, and you just do a really nice smooth swirl. Don't move your bag, don't, and you're moving your hand, not the cupcake. And then I put a little bit of buttercream on just so that that disc sits really proudly and nicely and you're not squishing it into the buttercream. If you squish it into the buttercream, it doesn't look as nice and it doesn't sit as proudly in the box either when they're all nicely put into the box. So I just like them to look pretty and it's just these little details and things like that that make a difference and sort of level up your cakes. So we're using the sprinkle mix and then I did put some extra sprinkles on after as well. And it's all about getting that perfect consistency with your buttercream and my buttercream recipe is in the description down below as well. So I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry it's a little bit short one and I'm sorry I've been MIA for my followers, but I am back now and yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.